Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today is episode 1 of our new series, High Low Tech, in which we take a look at some integrated circuits in Minecraft, and take a look at the best designs for them. Now obviously, because this is the first episode of this series, I need to know what you guys think of it, so a like would be greatly appreciated. But in this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the T Flip Flop, which is a very useful circuit to know about, so let's begin. But before we begin, I need to explain to you what on earth a T flip flop is because I'm sure there's some of you that are sitting out there thinking I have got no idea what this chap is talking about. So essentially a T flip flop turns a pulse into a continuous signal. That is it. So say you press a button, you would get a continuous signal rather than a pulse. I will go into a little bit more detail throughout the video, but that is the outline of it all. So let's begin and take a look at design number one. So this is it, it's the first T flip flop we are going to be taking a look in today's episode. It's a bit of an odd one, it uses some strange mechanics and some of the new 1.7 features in the form of the filled cauldron and our comparator down here, but it uses piston timings. And the great thing about this design is that it is one wide and it is completely tileable, meaning that you can place a load of them next to each other. But anyway, let's take a look at it. We just hit this button here and you will see we got ourselves a redstone output that is constantly on. And then when we hit the button again, it toggles off. That is the toggleable flip flop part. Now all of the redstone that you need is right here. So I'm going to F1 so you can see all of it in broad daylight. This is what you can copy from. That there is a comparator. All of these are sticky pistons and that is a filled cauldron and that is how to build it. All you have to do is run an input into this block using a repeater or redstone dust if you want to. Now our next design is different in the way that it is completely silent. You cannot hear it, but obviously it works exactly the same as the other. So when we hit this button here, you will see we get off. And when we hit it again, we get on. Now this one is a lot faster than the first, but unfortunately you cannot put them next to each other. Anyway, I am now going to show you how to build it. So you just want to create a three by one area, place a dropper facing upwards, a dropper facing across, and then a dropper running into this one here with a hopper running into the top of that dropper and then a comparator coming out of this one and an item in that dropper there and then you can place your button or run an input into this block here it has to be running into that block using a repeater or redstone dust but make sure that it is running into that block and then you can see that when we press this button we get on and when we press it again we get off so that is working like a charm the final design that we are going to be taking a look at today is one of my favourites. It's the most versatile, it's the one that I use most often in all of my builds and that is because it uses one of the most useful mechanics in redstone. This little circuit here, this one that you can see in this 3x3 section is known as a monostable circuit and this will give you a one tick pulse. Now that is an extremely short pulse, so much so that even though this is a sticky piston, it will fire out the block which means that look, you can see Bam! It is now stuck out there, which means that if we take an output from this, you can see it is now constantly on, despite the fact that we just gave it a pulse. Now, this is definitely one of the fastest designs out there, and it is also one wide and completely tileable. It does look the biggest on paper, but like I said, you can use this mechanic pretty much anywhere. Just create a one tick pulse and run it into a sticky piston, and there we go. You have got yourself a working T flip flop. Now, to build this one is really, really simple. You just want to place blocks like this. Some redstone dust here, make sure it is running into this block and then this is going to create the monostable circuit and I'll quickly show you that working so you can see when we hit this button we get a tiny pulse, it is absolutely minuscule and then when we run that into our sticky piston you will see it's even smaller, there we go. So tiny, tiny, tiny pulse and then you can just use that block and then place a redstone torch or you could use a redstone power block if you wanted to but then when we hit this button here you will see it shoots out in front of the block and then there we go we have got ourselves our on or off input just like with a T flip flop there. But unfortunately, that is all I've got time for for today, folks. I hope that you enjoyed episode one of our new series, High Low Tech. In the next episode, I think I'm going to be taking a look at double piston extenders, which is going to be a good one, I'm sure, because that is always getting requested to me. But if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.